Hello everyone. How's it going everybody? It's Marky. I'm running a little behind answering comments, so I apologize for that guys. And don't forget to smash the like button on this video. Give me a thumbs up. Smash that little like button down there. Hopefully we can get this video up to 100 likes and that would be amazing guys. I appreciate your support so much. Check it out. I picked up some new Hot Wheels. These are all from Q Case. As you can see back here, you just see the little Q. They all come from Q Case. And um, this one is the uh, 67 Chevelle SS396, the Osleys Chevelle, 40 years. Beautiful tampo work there on the door. Osleys Chevelle, 40 years. This is a two-door vehicle. It has a nice glossy yellow color. Let's spin them around. Yeah, the, the chrome works really well with these uh, vintage late 60s and early 70s cars. That's how they looked with the all the chrome. Super Sport marked back here. Tampa work looks amazing. Super Sport. The Aussies logo. Hot Wheels logo. Chevrolet. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Check out the nice stripes on the hood. Beautiful. I love the front end. They chromed everything out. It's all plastic chrome, though. Remember that the... Uh, the base on these are plastic, usually, and you have, sometimes Sometimes there's exceptions. We do have a spot for the license plate. We have the lights up here in front. There's no mirrors on the side of this uh, beautiful Chevelle. We do have some wipers molded right on the glass. It is a see-through glass. The windows are rolled down, and we do have the little triangle windows on this one. There's no rear view mirror inside. We do have a couple of bucket seats in a dark color. It looks like a black. And it looks like the part of the base is showing through for the floorboards. It's kind of hard to see in there, but we have a little console in the middle there with the gear shifter. And it is the left side driver. There's a steering wheel right there. We do have the key lock and the uh, handle on the door is painted in like a silver color. We do have a little trim showing down here on the bottom in the chrome. Beautiful Hot Wheels logo on the fender there. That looks amazing. Beautiful, what a throwback. Check it out. On the back, we have the big fat tires and skinnier ones in the front. 67 Chevelle marked down here, Super Sport. 330, no, three, is it 396? 336? Man, that's hard to see. 396. <laughs> Chevelle Super Sport 396. Oh yeah, just like it says on the card. I could have just looked at the card there. Copyright 2009 Mattel. What a beauty. And check out the stripes are on the back as well. Nothing on the roof. Only on the hood and on the trunk there. And here's the back end. So sweet. We could have used some brake lights on there and probably a license plate. That would have looked better. But these wheels are really nice. They come in the gray. What a beauty. Top view. And the side view. And there's a steering wheel. You can see that in there. Really cool. And look at the little triangle windows there in the corner. So cool. It's a beautiful Hot Wheels. I did pick up the blue one. Here's the blue one. Looking awesome as well. So kind of cool to have both of these, the blue and the yellow, they look good together. Look at that. Let's check out the front ends. Let's get up a little closer. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Very, very nice. I love these, these are looking so good. <laughs> Hot Wheels is really giving us so much cool castings now. And uh, 
These are available now at Target and at Walmart. In my area, they've hit both stores. So you should be able to find them. Head out there and pick them up. And the next one is a 70 Chevy Camaro RS in blue from the Then and Now series, number eight of 10 and number 179 for the year out of 250. Again, this is a QK spine. Let's get them out of the package. And these cards, they all come with a matching car. The graphics are beautiful on every card. Very nice. And you can see this one, they show the mirrors on the side on this one, not on the Chevelle. But there are no mirrors on the side. Nice wheels on this beautiful Camaro. We have the big number 70 on the door. And the Hot Wheels logo all the way on the back. The stripes coming down from the front fender all the way to the back. So sweet. No colors or, or uh, for the brakes or, or license plate on this one. Same thing as the Chevelle. It is a lighter blue interior. We do have the left uh, side driver, big steering wheel there. Nice scoop on the hood. We do have the locks on the hood too. And you can see that there. Sweet. Really nice looking hood with the stripes. All blue on the front. The grill is blue, the lights are blue. And then we have this big piece of plastic here in the front. Nice spoiler. Very cool, a little ring in chrome or a little stripe around the, the wheel there. And it's hard to see the spokes on this one. They're all blacked out. But there he is, Hot Wheels logo on the back fender as well. What a beauty, this is a really nice color. And the Then and Now series, they show an older vintage car and then a more modern one. In another package, you can find this one. So you'll get a, a newer Camaro then and now, 2017. There it is, 2017 Camaro Z01. So you can get that one and that one. You have the then and now. And I think the, uh, the one that actually was released recently was the, the orange one. And before that, they had the, the blue one with the orange 1970 Camaro. So you have all these variations, they switch them around. So you have one of each. There you go. And I think that's how they released them. Uh, you could get this one with this one at the same time in the same case. And these two, I think, came in the same case. So beautiful. What a nice Camaro. Nice to have a 1970 and then the uh, 2017. And the, the, <laughs> the numbers on the doors are the years they were made. 20, 1970. 2017 awesome check out the wheels these are blacked out over here this one has a little chrome i mean a white stripe on them which matches really well with the, with the white tampon work on this one beautiful no mirrors on this one at all they're doing that where they some vehicles don't some of the castings are not having the uh, mirrors and some do such a strange thing to see a car without mirrors but uh, that's a beautiful Camaro right there. I love it. And if you like both, you'll probably still find the orange one around. Can't remember what's the number on the case. Was it K? I think it was K case. Where the orange Camaro, the 1970 came out with a lighter interior. And they went with the gray five spokes on that one. I always think these look like stars. And the skinnier five spokes on this one. But there's a comparison right there. You can pick your favorite color. Drop in the little comment box which one you like better. The orange or the blue. And on the Osleys, you can also the Chevelles. You can, if you want to, just pick one. The yellow or the, the blue one also. And this one has 2017 with the orange and blue. I have a total of 15 cars I'm showing you up today, guys. Next up is the NSX in green. I finally picked this one up. Thought I was never gonna find it. It seems to be pretty popular. Really nice car. Look at the uh, beautiful graphics on this one. Five of five on the Hot Wheels Turbo series, or in the Hot Wheels Turbo series, and number 148 of 250. Right out of Q case, the 2017 Acura NSX. 
beautiful green color, metallic green with a black roof. And the handles on the doors are all painted over in green. Look at these wheels, how cool they look when they spin. Sweet. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> Man, these are so cool. This one does have the wipers molded in the plastic uh, window on the windshield there. And you can see that there's no extra color there for those vents up here. We do have the Acura badge right in front. And look at that. Look at the face of this car. He does have a face, doesn't he? <clears throat> Looks like he's grinning. It's got the really cool lights. And those uh, vents showing through. That little piece of plastic here in the front. Really cool looking NSX. And I do have a couple more NSX here to show you. And check out that back end. Wow. The lights look super awesome. Nice Acura badge back there. All this uh, black plastic showing through for the grill, some lights. I love when they paint the lights in. Just feels so much more complete. Beautiful uh, interior on this one. <clears throat> and no no mirror inside neither. No mirrors on the side, no, one, no mirror in there. Beautiful console. We do have the nice bucket seats. Look at that dashboard. really cool and the wipers look pretty neat wow the color looks amazing i'm gonna hold this here for a second while i grab the water <clears throat> excuse me guys <laughs> <clears throat> taking a big gulp of water see if i can get through this video <laughs> wow i really like this one i did pick up the red one before before a couple of I don't know how many weeks ago, but it's been a few weeks back where they uh, had the red ones out on the pegs. Very nice. Has the uh, same wheels. Here's a little side view on both of them. Kind of like uh, Christmas colors right here. Green and uh, red. Pick your favorite, guys. Drop it in the box. In the comment box below. So cool to read your comments, by the way. And I I apologize when I'm running behind like this week. I'm running so behind on answering everyone. But I'll catch up. I'll catch up, guys. So keep dropping your comments. Make it harder for me. <laughs> and don't forget to keep smashing that like button. Let's get it up there to 100 likes. I know you guys can do it. Here's another NSX. Look at this. This is a beauty. And I love the card that this one comes on. Very colorful card. Not the same blue, blue card. Same size, but not the same blue card. It's all decoed out it's really nice and it's of course from a special series the forza motorsport series of cards and it looks so cool all the cars in this series with the forza uh livery on it looks so awesome look at the gray five spokes there this one also has a little black top just like the other two and you can see inside there, it looks amazing. And these are all 2017 Acura NSX. And I do have this one over here, which is a 1990. And my cat keeps leaving fur all over my desk. <laughs> and it sticks to the cars. All right, all right, all right. Look at this. Another NSX, but so different. Thought you would like to see that. A little different NSX there, a little different take on it. Again, this one has a taller, taller wheels in the back. And it's the 1990. And this one again was the 2017. So we have a bunch of different uh, colors here and a different model. Pretty neat. The NSX by Acura. Thank you, Hot Wheels. These are really cool. And I have one more here to show you. Oh, actually, I have a bunch. <laughs> I have a bunch more to show you. Here's the Moon Eyes version of the Bone Shaker. So cool. The Moon Eyes livery, very popular. Moon Equipment Company. This one is from the Hot Hot. Uh, the Rod Squad series. Sorry about that. Rod Squad. I love the Rod Squad logo. Four of five. 
in number 161 of 250. Again, beautiful graphics. Moon eyes. Looks awesome. I love the skull on the front there. See the big giant skull and chrome. It looks so awesome. And there he is. <laughs> There's the actual Hot Wheels with the big skull on the front. And I do have the yellow one of this uh, this model right here. Bone Shaker in yellow. Moon Equipment, 1968 for the year Hot Wheels first hit the stores in 1968. Wow, it's been a long time, Hot Wheels. And then it says Santa Fe Moon Equipment, Santa Fe Springs, California. Moon Equipment Company. This one's like a what, like a silver, like a metallic silver color, or you might say metallic gray. It does have the chrome on the bottom there. Wow, this looks like it's not snapped in properly. Ooh, that's gonna be hard to fix. <laughs> And a big, taller tire in the back. A little smaller in the front, not too small. They're all skinny. Made in Malaysia, copyright 2005 and 2014. Mattel P31, stamped down there with the Hot Wheels logo and Bone Shaker name all the way in the bottom. Check out the exhaust. Wow, look at that. Here's a top view. You can see everything that's going on in there. Beautiful. Left side driver. These don't have any mirrors on them neither. These are just a two-door vehicle with a little window in the back there. Like a split window here between the... Uh... And look, there's no window in the back here. <laughs> that's really strange. Man, this looks so good. <laughs> What a cool Hot Wheels. Here is, or here are a few more of my Moon Eyes collection. Here's the yellow one. Big 68 there on the back as well. Same type of wheel, just a different uh, color, I think. Or is it the same wheel, same color? Maybe the light is messing with me. <laughs> moon equipment on the door. Beautiful Moon Eyes. I love it. I love it. They look so cool. Looks like they might keep releasing these in different colors, so I'm going to have a nice collection little by little. It's going to keep growing. I also have the little Volkswagen, which is really cool, the pickup truck. Look at that jerry can in the back. Little beacon up there, a little light. We do have windshield wipers on this one, which are kind of like in the halfway position. We do have a black interior on this one. The Moon Eyes logo is so cool. On the door, pretty big. Looks nice. Moon Eyes. And the Hot Wheels over here. Big name Moon Eyes on the back here. This is a really cool little pickup truck. I love it. Half Volkswagen, half pickup truck. <laughs> Pretty cool. A little uh, spot here for the engine in the back. As you know, these have the engine back here. What a cool little Moon Eyes vehicle. Look at this. Moon Eyes right there on the hood with the stripes. Very clever. This is a really nice uh, put together Moon Eyes little pickup truck in the yellow. So we got those Moon Eyes. And I also picked up this other Moon Eyes a while back, the Dodge Van. This one is just called Dodge Van under here. It's made in Malaysia. Copyright 2020 on this one. So this is a new model for the year. And there you can see they have like a go-kart all folded up in there. And they transport it to the races, little go-kart races in this van. Hot Wheels, Mopar, and the Moon Eyes logo on there. Oh, wow, look at that. The Ryu Asada. Is that for him? 2021 Hot Wheels Drift. One of the designers who recently passed away, may he rest in peace, Ryu Asada. I'm wondering if that's... About him, I, I didn't notice, I hadn't noticed that before. And Hot Wheels Drift Club, so it's a drifting club for uh, these really cool, what looks like a go-kart in there, right? See that? 
can see the seat, the steering wheel, and then the, the wheels are like folded in the front or they take them off and lay it on top of it. Crazy chrome interior on this one. <laughs> Not a color you're gonna find in real life, or at least I think. And then we have the uh, the handles painted on the door. And this one is so weird. <laughs> this is a weird temple. They have like a handle painted here. Uh, I don't know if that's, that's just a mistake. Maybe they just tampled these two and they didn't wanna change the machine. Well, that's all I could do. So they had to stamp both sides the same. I don't know. And then maybe this is a separate stamp. But it's so weird to have a handle right there and a key lock. <laughs> Very funny. And I did pick up this one previously came in this. Uh, I think that the yellow was first, then the blue, uh, the green. It's like a light green, gray green color. But same thing, has the same tempo with the uh, failed... <laughs> Little handle on the side, but another Moon Eyes van. Looking cool with the uh, strange handle there, misplaced. <laughs> it's a floating handle, it goes wherever. But uh, really cool vans for the Moon Eyes uh, collector. So awesome. I love the uh, all the attention to detail on these vans. Except for the back. The back has a lot of nice casted detail but no no colors just painted right over in the basic color but uh very cool love these vans so that's a nice uh moon eyes, moon eyes collection i have going on here look at that now we're gonna need them to release the the bone shaker in this color it would be cool if they have the volkswagen and the bone shaker released in the the light green, that light gray green color. That would be awesome. Here's what they look like uh, side by side. The van and the uh, bone shaker. Yo, I'm shaking my bones. The bone shaker, so cool. They all come with a chrome interior. Well, these two do, not the Volkswagen. The Volkswagen has a black interior. What a cool set. What do you think, guys? Do you like the van? Do you like the Volkswagen? Or do you prefer the Bone Shaker? Just wondering which one of these castings would be more popular. Which one's the most popular? Drop a comment, let me know. Maybe you can vote for your favorite color if you want to, or which model you like better. All right, let's take a look at all my new additions. These I've had in the collection for a little bit. Let's take these away. Here's the Bone Shaker. And I got the new Acura in green, the NSX. And I got the new 1970 Camaro. And the Osleys. So cool. The Osley Chevelle celebrating 40 years of Osleys. The 67 Chevelle SS396. Wow, what a beauty. Let's put this one over here. Wow, these are looking awesome. What a nice uh, addition to the collection. Wow, that Chevelle is so long. <laughs> there we go, let's put the bone shaker up in the front. There we go, look at that. What a nice, nice set. I'm loving these new uh, additions to my collection. What do you think guys, you wanna vote for your favorite on this one? Have you found these yet? Let me know how your collecting is going. These uh, Q cases have been a long wait. <laughs> a long time coming. Been waiting for this uh, Q case to hit again. It did hit a while back, like a few weeks ago, and then it disappeared. I was only able to pick up a couple vehicles from that one. Looks like I got there late and everything good was gone. Just a bunch of mostly fantasy castings. But now, look at this. I was able to pick up this week, a bunch of different, uh, I've been showing every day. I keep finding more and more. Target has some, Walmart has some. So I'm back and forth between Target and Walmart. Hoping I, uh, I haven't caught when they put out the case fresh. So I've missed out on all the uh, super duper hard ones to get. But they're still going to be, it's still going to be fun trying to chase those down. I still have a bunch from QCase that I have not found. 
And of course, I'm probably never going to find the treasure hunt or the ID or the Zamex. They're so hard to find. If you're not there, when they put them out, you just can't find them. Because the first guy who gets there probably buys them all. But uh, these are really beautiful. I'm loving this uh, new addition to the collection of these four beautiful Hot Wheels. So guys, let me know how your collecting is doing. How's your Hot Wheels? Um, how are your Hot Wheels pegs looking in your town? What stores are having the Hot Wheels? By the way, guys, General Dollar General, Dollar General stores in my area has been getting a bunch of M case cars. And um, I also got there late, didn't find any treasure hunts or anything like that. And all the cars that were on the peg were awesome, really nice cars, but I have them all already. So I didn't buy any, but uh, they had some really nice, nice uh, cars on the pegs at Dollar General. All right, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. And um, don't forget, I'll be catching up with your comments. And uh, smash that little like button in the corner or somewhere down there. There's a like button. And subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out on my diecast car videos. I post often. So I'll see you guys in the next video.